Hey everybody, it's Dead Linux. Look at that dead fish. It's delicious. Deliciously dead fish. I'm out fishing again with my buddy Tim. We're out here underneath the trollish bridge of of trolling. I think there's birds up here pooping on us, but I'm not entirely sure. All I hear is like the splats. But uh, as you can see here, we're on the main a main bend right in the downtown area here. And I don't know, this is, looks pretty shallow here. We're cast in the middle. Tim was thinking he's going to recast, so I don't know if you want to do that, Tim. And I can just record it, and that'll just be, that'll make people entertained. Because it's all about. So this is um, Beirut. No, this is not Beirut. This just looks like Beirut. Those are actually brand new apartment buildings over there. If you know this area, you probably know where we are. Um, but anyway, please don't tell me you're snagged. Are you snagged? I can... uh -huh. Don't, don't, oh shit. I didn't think there would be. It didn't look like there would be. Mine's not snagged. Oh wait, that's not my red. Mine's over here. Mine's right over here. Uh, I see. That's why you wanted to recast, because you were snagged. Okay, so he's talking about over there. See, we see this wood pile here, so it leads to a point right there. So we have this bend coming around behind Tim and then around further on. So we've been told don't ever fish bends, but that's bullshit, honestly. So really, we should be getting anything around here. I just don't remember if it's on the inside or the outside of the bends. It's on the outside bends, they're deeper, right? Okay, so you should be... Right. So we should be like casting out to that side so we'll see what we can do here as soon as Tim could remove his hook from the river and uh, we'll see what we can get so see you guys in a little bit okay here we are back again both Tim and well, I lost my bait Tim lost his hook and bait and setup and stuff so hang on I'm gonna grab this by the uh, by the hook here and wheel it up I gotta, just forgive me, YouTubers, since I do this. Okay. Alright, so what's Tim doing is he's cutting himself a piece of bait. Just like that. Look, we got a gold eye there. Just cut himself off a chunk. Are gonna keep it like that? Well, I'm gonna cut the fin off. Okay, so he's gonna cut the fin off. Why would he do that? Because there's less to get hooked on the bottom. There's also less to worry about, so... Yeah. So that's a gold eye, ladies and gentlemen. Just in case you're wondering. Very silvery fish, very common. Okay. He's got that, and I can show you what the finished product kind of looks like. Here we go. So that's a gold eye slice. Uh, these, the scales on this one is only on the one side, so there's a nice little pink meaty bit in the middle. I'm hoping we'll attract fish, so we'll see. Now, I'm actually going to cast this one-handed because why not? I think it's because I have a personal hatred for what I do. So, I'm putting this open with my face, and uh, we shall see if I can cast this. So here's a... Here's a very lame-ass cast. So I've got my standard rig this time. Oops, you can't even see that. That's my standard rig. He's got the old classic rig, and we shall see what we can do. So let's see how far I can get with this guy. There we go. Flip that over, flip the bail closed, and we're good. There's Tim with his cast. Maybe, if he knows what he's doing. Here we are, and there we go. So we're in the middle of the current. Mine's already getting a pull from the current, so we're trying to control it to make sure it doesn't get snagged right away. And so we can control where it ends up and where it lands. And basically keep it in the same spot. And that's kind of the key to making sure it doesn't snag, so we'll see how that works. So we're on uh, round two basically with bait. Let's see what happens. God. Hey, Tim, are you busy? You want to hold my phone? <laughs> no, don't hold my phone. I look stupid. Yeah, but if you do, I look like a big fat bastard. Um, shoot, I've got stuff. All right, see here, people, that, here, do this. Do it, do it, do it, do it, fish. There's something on the end here, and it's not dead for once. Here, just, can you, can you, can you? Let me put my drag out so I can just... What are you feeling? Where am I? I'm underneath you. Here, hold on. we got to do the walkie business. Oh, jeez. Okay, where are you? No, All fine. right, fine. we're fair. Okay, do you want to take this guy? No, oh. That's a pull, that's a pull. Ooh, got him. 
see it? I'm gonna suck in my gut as best I can. Ooh. a drum? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is a drum. <laughs> Easy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to your first freshwater drum. This is great because this is a good lesson. Um, these are actually supposed to be good eating fish. This is a decent sized one too. It is. This one's actually pretty good. I'm not going to weigh them. Watch out. Okay, so let's do a little bit of a lesson here. Okay, so check it out. Probably can't see this. He's got a purplish top here. So most drum are dark. This is a freshwater drum, so he's a lot lighter. And he's got the kind of hump here. And I'm not gonna shake him, but right here in his head, he's got what are called otoliths. Otoliths are little bones here that rattle. So when they try to mate, they shake around a lot and they make noise. But notice he has no teeth, but he does have little scrapers right here and here. This is a really hard bone plate right there in the bottom. He doesn't like me doing that. Um, right here. So these guys can actually scrape off of, of surfaces. So um, this is one of the few fish that people think zebra mussels are actually um, pre preyed on by. But we'll see. But he's a nice fish, so we'll put him back. So we'll do it the right way, as opposed to just throwing him like a freaking moron. That was a drum. But he should be okay. In a second. Comes out of shock. Come on. Come on. There he goes. There he goes. Now he's waking up. So I actually fucked it up. So really, you shouldn't be releasing fish like that. What you should be doing is you should be holding them in the current, kind of letting them breathe, and then letting them go. Otherwise, they kind of get screwed up. So, anyway, sheephead, fish, and they do bite on. Raw bait, cut bait, so you do catch them, especially during this time of year. So, thank you, Tim, for shooting. I appreciate it. Even though it looked like Jabba the Hutt. There we go. Okay, that's the guy I just caught who did not want to be caught in a YouTube video. But there he is. He's right there. Oh, shit. Here we're gonna see. Well, here, I'll show you how big he is. Hang on. So you can see the light. There we go. You can't really see in the light, can you? That sucks. Uh, I'll turn this on. There we go. Big one. Yeah, he's a bigger fish. Okay. Can you hold this, please? Yes. I'm I going can. to weigh him over here. Oh. Yeah, that looks like a good 10 pounder, if not more. That is a big head. That is Ed Big Head right there. This is Ed Big Head right here? Yeah. Okay, let's see. What we got? Uh, is he a 16 pounder? Right there? Yeah, it looks like 16 pounder. Okay, so that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, that's a 16 pounder. Now, this is a male. We got the bumps on the head right here. Now he's a little, he's getting a little frisky, but he's okay. So, okay, things about a catfish. There's got the two heads, there are two of the eyes on the side, of course. Then here's where the one spike is. Now notice on this older one how it's kind of worn down, and you don't really have to worry about it anymore. Now on these guys, these side ones usually are worse. But you can hear him and he's not croaking. He's too big to do that. They really don't do that this size. But look at the head of the fucker. Yeah, that's oh gotta be. Five Look at that mouth! Look at the mouth! He's so big! Okay, we're gonna let him go. <laughs> Cause if you're not gonna take a picture like holding him straight across. Oh, I probably should. should I? Can you get it? Can you stop the video and then put the camera on? Do you know how to do that? 
Why can't I see shit? Oh, that's stupid. So, Tim, how do you feel? How'd you do tonight? Excellent. How many fish you catch? All of them. But I caught two of them and you didn't catch any. It is golf numbers. What? It is about golf numbers. Lowest score wins. Okay, Tim just won according to Russian roulette rules. So this is where we were fishing. This is the night scope, I guess. 